the modern world is driven by a hunger for money. But in a survival situation, does it hold any value? On this deserted Pacific island, a hundred thousand pounds is waiting to be discovered. Over five weeks, bundles of cash will be dropped across this brutal paradise. Come on! Get in, Jack! What's that in that tree over there? Wonga. And 12 ordinary Brits... You can never wear enough left of ...have the chance to track down this life-changing fortune. We've hit the jackpot! No! Get in! <laughs> They'll have to battle nature... No, not Jack! I'm gonna die first. ..and each other. How selfish! Stop it. I'm just telling you the facts of life. When you've actually got that dough in your hand, that's the real test. Who will last long enough to find and keep the money? Oh, he did it! Since this week, we could go home with 50 grand each. I know, can you imagine? <laughs> if you leave early, you leave with nothing. Oh, he did it! 5,000 miles from home, will the cash bring them together? Friendship is worth more than money. money. Or tear them apart? I need to take as much as I can from this island. In the face of overwhelming adversity... Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Who has the grit <laughs> and determination? This is absolutely brutal. Not just to survive... I've got a poo in my pants. ..but to leave with a share of £100,000. We want all of it. Greedy, selfish bastard. Welcome to the jungle. to abandon 12 ordinary Brits on a remote Pacific island. Getting close! As well as surviving, they'll have the chance to hunt for a life-changing sum of money. I'm focusing on the money, and that's going to be my, my driving force. I know exactly what I'm capable of, and I know exactly what I need to do on this island. When we find the cash, I'd love to think that we all get shares. Having said that, life isn't fair. Unfair shit happens all the time. Why would the island be any different? I have a motto that I live by. If I'm kind to others, that kindness comes back to me. It would be nice at 75 years of age to come back with 100,000. It'd be like winning the lottery. OK, listen in, everyone. This island ahead for the next 35 days is your island. What you see can have a huge impact, not only on your survival, but also on your search for the money. With 35 days to get through, the group will need to decide their strategy. Go for the cash straight away or save their energy for the long haul. I'm going to use my experience in sales to the maximum. I'm not saying I'm the Cristiano or Ronaldo of sales, but, you know, I'm up there. I'm here to walk away with as much money as possible. My father and Prince Philip were first cousins. People would perceive me to have a lot of money, but sadly, I don't have a huge fortune. Cash is always very tight. I'm going to get you in as close as I can, but you will be wading. There are crocodiles and sharks in this water. Do not hang around, OK? OK, guys, this is as far as we're going to go. I'm dropping them at a rocky inlet on the southeast side of the island. OK, just remember, this island is full of risk. You've got snakes, you've got scorpions, you're going to have extreme starvation, thirst, and there's also going to be £100,000 that's going to be coming onto this island. The cash won't come and find you. You've got to go and find it. Whether you share it or hide it, that part is all up to you. There's only one real rule, and that's if you leave the island before the end, you leave with nothing. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Grab the gear, grab your packs. It's over to you to lead it now. How deep is it? I don't swim. How deep is the water? Let's go. Here we go, guys. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no. OK. Bloody. It's too deep to get to the edge. The islanders have all they need for the next five weeks. 
basic tools, fishing equipment, and 24 hours supply of water. This is not funny. Hold my hand. Oh, it's no. going to get shallower here, don't worry. No, I'm sleeping. Oh, no. Don't yeah, let me fool you in that. Okay. Oh, cheers. That is bloody slippy. <gasps> Fuck me. This is shit. I think they've dropped us off in the worst place ever. The islanders will be filming everything themselves with the help of six trained and experienced camera people. What's your name? I'm Elissa, I'm 33 and I'm a writer. <laughs> my name's Morag, I'm 58 years old. I'm a landlady with my husband. We own properties and let them out at a really fair rent. <laughs> my name's Mano, I'm 42 years old and I'm a doctor. Yes, yeah. Mano. Shirt. My What's name's name? Ben, I'm 26, from Middlesbrough, currently living in Manchester. I'm a double glazing salesman. All right, guys, I'm Marco, I'm 30. I'm a photographer now, but I've been in the Royal Marines for the past six and a half years. <laughs> Muscle man. All right, guys, listen, let's get moving. Oh. Is that shopper? There's a helicopter there. Marco is a Royal Marine, so he's had a lot of military training. He seems to be a natural leader. He's a taking control. I have got... I'm oh, dropping money, guys. He's coming. He's coming right up to us now. Look, here he is. Where are they dropping it? Can they drop it right amongst us? <laughs> Helicopter. Guys, we're gonna drop somebody of an eye on the helicopter. Keep an eye on it. It's gonna drop. We'll have a parachute towards the bottom of it. You'll have to have a parachute at the bottom. It's dangling out, isn't it now? It's floating. Come on, flash the cash. Go for airdrop one. Airdrop one. If I could swim, I'd be going across here, but I can't. Yeah, but we could go over there and it could be three quid. Right, keep an eye on where that is. OK, so the first airdrop is now done. As soon as that packet came out of the chopper, you could just hear those guys screaming. What's going to be interesting is what they now choose to do. Do they focus on survival or do they focus on the money? I'm thinking of flipping swimming, but I'm not going to, because I know I'm not eating tomorrow. See, how far away it is. I need me armbands. I might have a 100 metre swimming certificate at home, but it's not mine. I'm worried up because I've seen that bloody helicopter. It's going to be 50,000. <laughs> so clearly, you've got some skills. Right. Everyone is pissing about going all crazy. I know, they are, yeah. We've got I know, yeah. that bit of sun. I know. We either have to make a decision to go for it. We've made one and we're going. We've got to be sensible here. I'm not about money. Right now, my eyes are open to water, fire, food and shelter. We're not leaving this island without money. Let's just go. Let's just yeah. go until we find All something. Right, come on. If we find something, we'll, we'll talk. Interesting. Let's go, guys. We need a plant, and I've got one. Let's hustle. The islanders are heading off in the direction of the heli drop, unaware that two more cash boxes have been deposited on the other side of the island. They have no idea how much cash each drop contains, but over the next five weeks, there'll be a total of £100,000 waiting to be found. Everything looks like green trees everywhere. There's, like, not one reference point. The mind boggles on my navigation already. I can't even get from Liverpool to Manchester with that GPS. <laughs> we just need to snake our way around this mangrove. Mind the thorns! Oh, fuck me. Guys, this, this won't last forever, so put up with it for a bit. We do need a strong leader, and I think we've got that in Mark Holland. Oh, my God, did you see what that? The what the fuck was that? What the Guys, fuck? what was that? Just literally jumped down there and skedaddled. It was like a massive iguana. Yeah. It was an iguana. Oh, I love it. Fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> the girls are screaming and yelling at various things, but that's something to be expected. But. Marco has got to find a route out. Ultimately, we want to go all the way around the island to the money drop, but we need to get out of the mangrove swamps, first of all. Jesus, where are we? Right, 
Right, guys, I'm going to split off and I'm going to head into the jungle. Yep. And make sure we're not heading into an absolute minefield. Right, I absolutely think it's a great idea. Rather than yep. waste these lovely calories we've got at the minute. Okay. Right, guys, yeah, okay. hang fast, I'll be back. That is treacherous. I was a Royal Marine for six years and we specialised in mountain warfare. Once you have that Royal Marine instinct, you never lose it. Absolutely stunning. The first thing I'll do with the money is, is share it out with my friends, with my family. But after six years of guaranteed income, set my own business. I'm a photographer. I've invested a lot setting this up and getting the money off this island will definitely help get me back into a place where I'll feel more secure in this uh, transition back into the civilian world. I'm willing to take myself to some dark places to come away with as much money as I can. 20, 30, 40, 50 grand. Whatever reward I can find on the island will be more than welcome back home. I've got a feeling there's a clearing up here. It looks like this mangrove ends and then it opens up. I reckon we should just get in a few monks it. You gotta try and find some money. We're leaving Marco in charge for a reason. He's gonna climb that fucking hill. Me, I'm thinking I'm laying it. <laughs> With Marco progressing alone, the rest of the team's attention turns to writer Alyssa. Who is the most famous person you've ever slept with? Famous? Um, turn down one, which nobody will believe, who is like the most famous man in the world. They won't mention her name. Dwayne Johnson? Bigger, 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 bigger than that. Like the most famous man in the world. Simon Cow? Today. <sighs> Cristiano? Bullshit. Every day, I regret it, every day. So who was it? Tell us! The most no, famous does. man in the fucking world. Well, just fucking tell us his name. What's the big secret? Leonardo DiCaprio. No, a bit more high paid than that. <sighs> Donald Trump. So shallow. Hey, you know that bloke from the day of it? Yeah, I'll t you can take me out if you want to, you know. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, give me something interesting to talk about. Well, I'll tell you the most famous person I've ever slept with, Donna from the kebab shop. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. That money's absolutely miles away, isn't it? Ugh. This doesn't look good. Not what I thought it was. It's a no-go. No-go. Marco and the team are still around one kilometre from the nearest cash box. Up until this point, the money's been on my mind quite a bit, but that money's sort of out of bounds at the moment. It's not going anywhere. We've got 35 days, and there will be more drops. For all we know, there's more this way. Let's head back and break the bad news. I tried to find an entrance through, yeah. but this mangrove's it, flipping dense. It, it looked like a clearing, which is why I went for it, but it just goes down into loads of mangrove. Oh, bollocks. Poxy fucking shit, hole. Yeah, that was shit. It's my fault, like. I don't mind doing the work the front. I'm absolutely fine with that. I had a plan which went completely out the window. You do feel the pressure with a group of people that you've only just met, tell them to trust you, that you know which way west is when you can't really see anything. What do you think we should do right now? We, we need to do the basics right now. Let's get to somewhere right. we can rest okay. up for the night. Yeah, fuck the money. The islanders are stuck in the middle of a mangrove swamp, in the path of the rising tide. And with the light fading, they urgently need to find a place to camp. Because we are losing a current fan rapidly. Yeah. All right. So, we have to maybe start getting our heads around. Yeah. Dropping where we shot, all right? What about if there's any, like, creatures in this water? If this is our reality for bed tonight... Yeah. Am I worried? Yeah. Very worried. This is just... hopeless. Twelve ordinary Brits are navigating a remote desert island where they can find a hundred grand hidden in dropped cash boxes. Grinded in shit creek right now. After leading the group to a dead end, former military man Marco is now searching for a place to make camp. Mr. Marine Man, sun's behind us. Do we still want to keep it behind us? No, we don't. No, because then we'll be heading north. So at the moment, we want to be heading off at an angle. OK, guys, we're going to follow this setting sun and try and hit a beach, OK? Let's go. Going through stuff like this, obviously they, they know I'm an ex-Marine, so they, they expect it, you know. It would be a bit um, sad if I was sat at the back um, carrying a jerry can, wouldn't it? We don't even know if we're going the right way or the wrong way. We could, we could be heading into disaster. Does that look like shoreline to you? So it does to me. 
<laughs> Beautiful. Oh. I can see the sea. We can see the sea, guys. We can see, see the sea. sea. We can see the sea. Yes. Yes. We can see the sea. Is it big? Yes. That's the beach, baby. Woo. Well done. Yes, man. Oh, we made it. <laughs> the beach. How brilliant. Yeah. Hallelujah. Imagine yeah. doing this when you're, how old are you? 75. Fucking 75. I'll be 76 shortly. <laughs> That's insane. I do not give in. It was a, a pleasant surprise that Marco stepped up to the plate and told us all that he was actually a, a former Royal Marine. And I think that gave everybody a lot of encouragement. See you what, Marco. The bollock they could have been for you up the dead end. That would have taken the most people's ear spirit away. You've done all right, mate. Good. Marco. He's just like a great team leader, to be honest. He's, he's direct, he tells everyone what he's doing, like literally he's a workhorse, carry everything, and he's such a good guy. The islanders have only been provided with 24 hours supply of water. Looks like piss. Smells like piss. Tastes like heaven. Double glazing salesman Ben has his own strategy for saving drinking water. Are you drinking your own piss? Yeah. Why are you doing that? What are you drinking your wee for again? I had piss and I didn't want to waste it. In this environment, the faster we adapt, the more chance we've got of surviving. What's it like? Is it warm still? It's uh... vinegary. Battery acid? No, it actually tastes quite nice, like apple juice. Guys? Guys, I'm just going to put it out there. Obviously, there's a bit of an elephant in the room. There's £100,000 on this island. Is there anyone who would say that they are more so motivated to walk away with as much money as possible? There are 12 of us. Yeah. yeah. There are obviously more capable people than and less capable people. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> what about just agreeing to split, split it? Split it. That's exactly what I want to do. So I think we should get a big pot. Put it in the kitty. The thing is, guys, I'm going to be completely honest from my side, right? And I don't want to sound like the, the arsehole of the group or anything like that. I would rather walk off this island with 15 grand than the share. OK, cool. I'm just putting it out there, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? He's saying he wants to keep money for himself. I do not like that idea one bit because we're all here as a team. Why should he come away with more than somebody else? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, there's some really nice people here and I'd, I'd hate to see him go on with nothing. Um, but I just want to look after myself, and I'm sorry to say, but it's not my problem. If other people um, are unable to to go out and look for it on their own. I would really like to win some money, and my grandchildren are all rooting for me to win some. Irene, she's not going to be out there with her machete, because she knows that's not her deal. But, you know, I think it's unfair that she's not going to get an opportunity to have some of the money. So I think, you know, we've got to split it with, with, with the likes of Irene. So this money is starting to play into people's minds. There's no doubt people are worried about how it would change things. But human nature is what it is. People lie, cheat, do all kinds of stuff. And an island like this, which has required everyone to help each other out, I would hope that's not going to be the case. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night, Mano. Night, Doctor. I was a spooning slag last night. A spooning slag. I love that. <laughs> I ended up spooning Irene, but I had to, I had to move away because I was getting a little bit excited. <laughs> we learned everything about each other in there last night. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. We got through for the first night. No one is brutally battered by it all. As the islanders prepare for the day ahead, brain surgeon Mano is keen to hit the ground running. Personally, I think we should just have a quick look around, see what we've got. I just think there's a lot of resource here. I am a consultant paediatric neurosurgeon. 
I make decisions about life or death for children on a daily basis. Money's good, money's great. Money is not my driver. My motivation for going on the island is the potential midlife crisis I'm going through. As a husband, as a father, as a doctor, people are asking something of me all the time, but I'm at the road of who am I? And that's the challenge that I think I'm hoping to find on the island. That money dropped in through a parachute, surely it's all going to get tangled. If there's, if there's money in a tree, I'm climbing it on. I think we should just dig it about the money. Right now, we have a place of safety. A couple of people have mentioned money and what we would do if we found money today. Well, personally, I think we've got a potential for fish, we've got a potential for water, we've got all these things in place. And I do think we should just get ourselves sorted. If we can find a water source... Now that's I think mean, that's key. more important, yeah. water first. Yeah, definitely. And fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Establishing fire is vital if the islanders are to sterilise any water they find. I, I just was thinking, what about starting the fire with my speckies? Of course. Do we have any coconut husk? The dry fibre is a good source of kindling and is abundant on the island. Let you into a secret. I'm Lord Ivor Mountbatten. <laughs> oh, fuck off. So is Prince Philip your... My cousin. Oh, my God, that's just amazing. He was like my father, cos my father died when I was seven. You will never believe who he is. He is Lord Mountbatten. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, we all knew he was posh, but this is like another level of poshdom, isn't it? I mean, you're talking aristocracy here. And you know what is so amazing? Is he is so unlike somebody who's had a privileged lifestyle. What an amazing life you've had. I know, incredible. And how can you be so nice? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My name is Ivor Mountbatten. The Lord bit doesn't mean anything, and I'm not fussed about it. I had a fabulous childhood, and we had a very large indoor staff, and it was a bit like living in Downton. If somebody had said five years ago, oh, Ivor, you'll be married to a bloke, I would have told them to take a hike. But here we are. <laughs> Everybody needs a gay lord. Come on. I live and work from Blarge Regency House, which we run as a wedding venue. I effectively manage the estate here. I'm a geologist by profession, and for many years I lived and worked in the jungle, and I sort of miss that period of my life. So, in many respects, I wanted to go back and, and sort of relive that period. Right, we'll see what happens. That smoke, that is definitely smoke. Listen, have we got some more twigs for when he gets a fire going? Oh, my God. Wait, guys. Come on, we got it. Uh, Have you got it? I can smell it. Yeah. Smell it. Yes. Right, bring shit ASAP. Come on. Right, that's bring... Where should we put the fire? Play harder, play harder, play harder. Cup your hands around it. Your... It's really yeah. hot as shit. Well done. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> that is amazing, guys. Well done. That is amazing. Come on! <laughs> Fucking <laughs> legend. <laughs> We've got fire now, if it doesn't go out. <laughs> but water is number one priority because we're all running low. So I want to go and look ASAP. <laughs> Find some bloody water. It's caking up the tide. It's not even a breeze. Jesus. Far too hot. In the dry season, temperatures on the island reach a scorching 40 degrees Celsius. Most drinkable groundwater has evaporated, and the group had drunk over half of their 24-hour supply of drinking water. We've got to find water, because we're all really drinking through our water now. Got so little water left. I'm on, I'm on, I'm running on empty now. Let's go and find water, eh? Joined by Ivor and Alyssa, Marco leads a search party on the hunt for a water source. Oh, look at that. Absolute paradise. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Oh. Jesus, it's hot, isn't it? I'm gonna die of I can see a coconut. Look at the size of that bastard. Staying hydrated may be the islanders' top priority, but the prospect of finding £100,000 is never far from their mind. It's gonna be interesting with the money thing. 
I think it's a real distraction. It's not going to bother me. I'd you know, much rather give it to somebody who needs it. I do need the money. I am not flush. I work for myself. I don't get a handout of anyone. Because I, I work for myself and I write books, I only get paid when that book's finished. Yeah. So that's three, yeah, four, five, six that. months sometimes yeah, yeah, without getting a wage. Yeah. You know, it fucking would mean a lot to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, be very careful. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! My knee dislocated. Oh, I'm not even joking. Oh my god, that really hurt. How do you pop your knee out? What happens? Oh, it just comes out. How it's... do you pop it back in then? Well, it just goes back in. It's so. Do you want to wait here? Yeah, I'll wait here. It'll be all right. I'll just be swollen. It happens like three times a year. Yeah, we won't be long. Oh. I'll have some water. I'll have some of your water. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm dehydrated today. I know I am. Look at that. Cut the end of my finger. It's only a nick, but I didn't want it getting covered in crap. So I nicked one of your Steri wipes, which really sting, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what you can do with a Steri wipe? Go on. Do you know around your penis? I do, yeah, funny enough. You can wipe it around it there. And really? It, yeah, yeah, and it's really good for it. Are you fucking insane? Are you blagging me, aren't you? No, this is absolutely true. Oh, I was born yesterday. I'm going to give it a go anyway. <laughs> <laughs> As the heat of the afternoon subsides, brain surgeon Mano leads a trek inland to search for water. So it's a chocolate sandwich here. I'm very, very lucky to have these two ladies, and we're going to go find a water source. I've ensured there are enough resources and fresh water to keep the islanders alive throughout, as long as they have the ingenuity to find it. Excuse me, do you hear me fart then? Fine, get off! Oh, I'm getting bitten by shit! That's a tick! Irene is very tired. Mo has a tendency for theatrics. Ow! Oh! oh my god, that's a scorpion, he's on my bag! I got him off! But I think we've got to encourage people, and my feeling is that whenever we go somewhere, bring something back. Do you know what? We can do this. We can do this. I mean, anything could be anywhere. I think we should get back now. Got to keep on going, Mo. Patience, persistence. You're right. You're right. I like it when Mano pushes us one bit further than we think we can do. That is hellish. Oh, my goodness! What? what Come man? over here! Oh! Oh! A pineapple! Oh, my God, Mano! I don't believe you! Oh, my God, Mano! Lady, Mano. would I gift you this? Mano! From me to you. I told you to push on. I can't believe this! I'm just thrilled. This is sugar, sweet sugar. Yes. We had no bananas. <laughs> Look where we are. That's there. These are here. We're just not going to take this place for granted. Here's the other beach. Should we go around? No. I think it's more important to find water, water than yeah. going around. Yeah, yeah. Because there's two likely sources there. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Oh, my goodness. Well, there is a parachute. This is where I push you off the rock. While wrecking the island for water, Alyssa has been forced to rest her injured knee. Meanwhile, Ivor and Marco have pressed on and made a discovery. There is a parachute. <laughs> Mate, we have to go. Of course we do. Then why don't we just tell Alyssa? No, because she'll want to come and she might injure herself. No, we'll just say, oh, well, OK. It's not far up there. I reckon there's a lot of money up there. Let's just hide it, mate. And then we can we can spend the rest of this trip right here. <laughs> this is gonna be a trek up here. This is calories, yeah, mate. It is, it's gonna be tough. This is gonna take some uh, welly to get off. Look, 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 there is a box. Yeah, mate, there is a box hanging. Uh, 
Let's get a big stick. Here we go, mate. I'll chop this down. I'm just thinking whether I was too fucking quick to tell him that I'd seen it. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it now, mate. Really clever. I would have probably just. Yeah, I didn't see it. I would have just pushed him off the cliff. <laughs> no, it's much better to to share. It's tangled in the bloody wire, isn't it? Ooh, well done. But let's pull it down together. There we go. I think that's it. I'll grab that side. Hold that. Well done. Good job. Are you ready? Yep. Fuck a duck. <laughs> Fuck my life. Two, four, three, one, five, two, eight, five, six, seven. Yeah, fifteen grand. Fifteen G's. Ha 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 ha! Holy cow! Seven and a half grand each. I know. My daughter's school fees. Your daughter's school fees. <laughs> What the fuck do we do now? Are we keeping it? <laughs> Jesus. Fuck my boots. Fuck my wet, damp boots. Right. What do we do with it? What do you reckon? Right, we're splitting this. We find more. We can keep some and start trickling it. Uh, to the others. Okay. Well, if we had found 50 grand, it would be borderline greedy yeah, yeah, yeah. to keep it all. We've, we're doing the right thing because we might find a lot more and we can share that. Really? <sighs> Jesus. Okay. All right, I'll shake yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Cool. I feel really naughty. Having said, right the word go, that we should split the money, I have been persuaded that perhaps we should keep it and certainly pay school fees this term. Anyway, I've gone with the flow, and it seems it's quite exciting. <laughs> we could still divide it if we wanted to. The likelihood is we're not going to. We've got that bloody parachute up there, which is a dead giveaway. Can you see it down yeah, there? Yeah, 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 absolutely. If we're not going to share it, then we've got to take the evidence down, because somebody's going to come around there, see that, and know I know someone's got it. I know someone's got it. When we opened it and saw those 15 grand in it, boy, the adrenaline was, was absolutely pumping through my veins. We need to consider our own wants and needs on this island above everyone else's. Right now, what we need to do is keep the sequel from the rest of the group. So let's hide it. Oh, here's the place. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, nobody's going to see that. It's a nice little hole uh, here. I know he's going to find it there. No. Come on, let's go. We've got to go. And Liverpool are champions of England. <laughs> After leading Morag and Irene into the jungle, Mano has foraged a pineapple for the group. At first, I thought, oh, no, it looks a bit dodgy, because it doesn't look like it does in sort of Sainsbury's, but it tasted absolutely delicious. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Oh, my God! Super Mano. Good for him. Like, he's not the alpha male of the group, but, you know, he gets stuff done. Do you know what? There's something in me is so proud because just knowing you're providing and you're giving and you're doing stuff. <laughs> Although mostly water, pineapple still won't provide the islanders with enough fluid to survive. Oh, my God. That is the most significant find yet. There's only one thing that could have made me happier, and that is water. Definitely. I feel a real shit. I can't believe I'm saying this. What we're going to say, <laughs> because we took so long, is we found a potential water course and we walked up it. Nothing. That's why, that's the time we took. Yeah. And I'm sweating my tits off, so it looks yeah. like I've been walking in the sun. 
definitely not climbing up the hill. Hey, how's your knee? Yeah, that's Sorry we took so long. We found what we thought was a water course, so we followed it up. To no avail. Yeah. All right, OK. Well, there's a nice little beach around there. Yeah. Some naked sunbathing. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it's tiny, though. So we followed the water and it was nothing? Yeah, and it was, it was all dry. Bloody hell. The wanderers have returned. And they've caught some of it as well. What do you got, guys? A few coconuts. Guys, we found pineapple. Yeah. Well done. Well, there's just nuts in here. Yeah. Wow. Any cash? No. no Damn it. Any luck with water? We, we so have big. Yeah, a few potential sites for um, water, but it's so big, like, we couldn't check them all. Yeah? I mean, you guys were gone for quite a while. Yeah. yeah. For what reason? This island's absolutely massive. All right, cool. Have you seen anything at all? No. But you know what? I... <laughs> They're dropping something into this, into this jungle. You, you're going to have to literally walk right over it to see it. So, um, yeah, we weren't really looking, actually. All right. We're going to have a chat. Go for a swim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. oh. Have you started spending your money yet? Have you thought it about it? It just goes like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> goes like that. I want to get my mum a car. She's married to a chick. A what? A chick? Yeah. Seriously? Know. Yeah. You know what? what? I'll tell you a secret. Oh. I'm married to a bloke. No, you're not. Yeah. Genuinely. Genuinely. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> How about that? My little brother's uh, gay as well. Is he? Yeah. Half my family. Well, yeah. My mum well, and my little what? brother. You know what? I think it definitely is in the genes. Yeah, it must be. Me and my older brother on. It's been a great day. I think Marco and I make a good team. And we've had a lot of fun. He's competent, and I like competent people. We had a bit of a camaraderie when we found the money. We may be perceived as a, a little pair, but anyway, it's kind of exciting. All this subterfuge, never thought this would happen. That's the more I think about it. The more devious I think I'm going to be. <laughs> On day one, one was dropped deep within the mangroves. We know there's more here, so tomorrow we're going to go back into the mangroves. What is key is that tomorrow, we say we're going to find water. And you know what? They have no idea. <laughs> Jesus, we could go home with 50 grand each. I know, can you imagine? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Manu. Morning. Looking fit and strong there. Mate, feeling strong. I've got my washed up toothbrush. Lord only knows where this has been. You haven't met James before. He's, he's my other half. <laughs> Three days in, and 12 ordinary Brits are trying to adjust to life on a remote desert island. What's this about you fancying Marco? You know you're barking up the wrong tree. Have you looked at yourself? It's just as well, because you ain't got any legs or anything like that. You're a nut, a nuthead. Don't forget it. Hmm. Anyway, boys and girls, I think things are going to start getting rather interesting now. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Let me have a go. Can you clean and jerk? Yeah. Do that like, deadlift it. Right, are we all here? Yeah, we're all present and correct. This morning, the islanders meet to come up with a plan to replenish supplies. Their water rations are now running dangerously low. What we need to do is get some sort of rotors going. We really need to get the water sorted. But yeah, water's low. Marco and I are going to try and find a water source. 
We're going to go over the watershed to the first watercourse that we found, but the rest of us staying, we've got to get food, we've got to get firewood. So does everybody more or less have a job? Good. The way today is going to go, we're going to stay positive and we're going to kick this island's ass today. Come on, hands in. One, two, she shot! <laughs> Let's go. Like I said, we're going to find water, but really it's going to find money. I do feel rather guilty that we're keeping it aside from everybody else. It is kind of against my character, but I suppose we've got to play the, the game, haven't we? Ivor and Marco are heading back towards a drop-off point to search for the first money box they saw parachuted in when they arrived. It's just incredible to be able to embrace that, that sense of greed, you know, and to hunt for money. It's literally like hunting through a treasure island and finding stacks of gold. It's insane. And I'm not ready to stop. There's 100 grand out here. I intend on taking home as much as I can. The tree's over there, isn't it? Now, isn't this interesting? So you reckon we were dropped just there? You can see where the water starts. Yeah. To the right of it, you can see all those little boulders that we were dropped off on. And there's that big tree that they dropped yep. the money by. That's the one. We're going to find that box now. We are. It's literally within this grid in front of us. I need to find some water. We are down to the bare minimal now. Well, it's probably, yeah, it's probably dangerous because we are sweating so much that, and we can't, and we're not replacing it. With temperatures up to 40 degrees, the islanders should each be consuming around three litres of water a day. Another day of the... Ah. They've managed to make their supply last up to now, but it's on the verge of running out. This has got to provide for us. Mano has branched out on his own in another attempt to find a fresh water source. In a few hours' time, everyone will have the panic on. Can't give up too quickly. What's going on here? This is a water. This is like dried off waterbed. There has to be something. There has to be. It's a double-edged sword, really. We want to kind of ration our water because if we don't find water tomorrow, what's going to be worse? You know, rationing water between absolutely what all of us, twelve of us. Water. Oh, I think we've just found water. Water. Fuck off! <laughs> what do you reckon, man? One minute. Water! Yeah! Come on! It tasted so <laughs> just not like anything else. Wait, let's, come on, wait, let's get the jerry cans off here. Mano works his absolute arse off. Yes! But every time I'm looking over at him, he's just grafting. I've got to take my hat off to him big time. Get the jerry cans! we got to filter, we got to do all of that thing. Guys, we need to save this. There's quite a lot of water here. We have water, we have this established fire, and our mood and spirits are high, and everyone's kind of happy, really. My baby! Go on, Oldie, mate. And I will never take this for granted, ever. To get eyes on that big tree again. On the northeast side of the island, Ivor and Marco are still trying to locate the first heli drop. Holy fuck. What's that in that tree over there? What else can that be? That is Wonga. What the hell, man? Box number two. How are we going to get that one? Don't you worry about that. I'll gnaw the tree down if I have to. Talk about dream team. Fortune favors the bold. OK, got it. Yeah. You ready? OK. Go on and do the honours. Oh, oh, me. 20 minutes. Yeah, we've got 20. I didn't think that. <laughs> <laughs> 35 grand in total. 17 and a half grand each. each. Woo! Fuck my life. 17 and a half grand in two days is quite a lot of money. 
I feel rather guilty. But hey ho, it's a bit of a game. And life is a game. It's how you play it. Wonka. <laughs> you dream of stuff like this. Oh dear. Woo! I'm not giving anyway. I do not feel an ounce of guilt. Uh, I'm trying to calm down. Get it out. Hi, hi, hi. Oh. Oh. I'm optimistic and I'm feeling positive that tomorrow we will find more money. Some more money to take home and put it in our little bank account. And then we spend our money that we find. So let us see. Lucky money. And we want all of it. Oh my God. I say a bag of money. Are we going to tell Kat? No, she wouldn't be able to keep it to herself. Ah! Yes, get it! The three of us will absolutely smash it. They don't really need us around. The boys have been gone now for the last three days. Maybe they have spilled off into a separate group. We're going to run out of water. We're in a bit of trouble now. <coughs> We're on our last legs, aren't we?